Cisco UCS Central Infrastructure Firmware Update Prerequisites Before you can update your firmware, you must register the UCS domains that you will upgrade with Cisco UCS Central and download the appropriate infrastructure firmware image from the image library. Ensure the infrastructure and catalog firmware policy is set to global. Click the Browse Tables icon and choose Domains. Select a domain. In the Domain page, click the Tools icon and choose Edit Policy Resolution Control. In the Infrastructure and Catalog Firmware slot, click Global. Then click Save. Click the Browse Tables icon and choose Tags. Click Tag Types. Double-click Maintenance Group to select it. Click Edit. In the Maintenance Group dialog box, click Values. Click Add and add a name for the Maintenance Group. Repeat the previous step to add all of the names that you need. Click Save. Click the Browse Tables icon and choose Domains. Select a domain and click the tag icon. In the Add Tag dialog box type field, select Maintenance Group. In the Value field, select a value. Click Add. Repeat for all the domains that you want to include in this maintenance group. To include all of the domains in a list in your maintenance group, select the Domain option in the heading and click Tag. Click the System Tools icon and choose Firmware Management. On the Firmware Management page, click the Tools icon and choose Schedule Infrastructure Firmware Update. In the Infrastructure Firmware dialog box, select a tag from the Maintenance Group drop-down menu. Select the UCS Fabric Interconnects product family and appropriate firmware versions to use for the update. As an option, select the catalog version in the catalog version drop-down list for the product family. If you want to schedule a firmware update, select the date and time for the update in the Schedule Infrastructure Firmware Update field. If you want to trigger a firmware update immediately, click Immediately in the Trigger Firmware Update field. Select whether the update requires user acknowledgement in the User Acknowledgement Required to Install field. If enabled, you must manually acknowledge the update request before the domain is updated. If disabled, the firmware update runs as scheduled. Click Schedule. You can monitor the firmware update on the Firmware Management page. The scheduled firmware updates display in the job list. After scheduling a job, the status on the jobs list in the Scheduled For column changes to Triggered. And in the Domains Impacted table, the firmware status column changes to Start Pending. To acknowledge a job, click on the Alerts icon and choose Pending Activities. Click Acknowledge for the domain. The Firmware Status column changes to In Progress during the upgrade. Click Launch in the Firmware Status dialog box to launch the configuration status and to open the status dialog and monitor the progress of the update. When the Firmware Status column changes to Pending User Acknowledgement, it's waiting for permission to reboot the Fabric Interconnects. Go back to the Pending Activities screen and click Acknowledge so the Fabric Interconnects can reboot. After the Acknowledgement, the Firmware Status column changes to In Progress.
Once again, click Launch in the Firmware Status dialog box to launch the configuration status to open the status dialog and monitor the progress of the update. When the update is complete, the target version shows the firmware update that you just installed and the firmware status changes to ready. This completes infrastructure firmware update.